This is obsessed. We are having a grand episode of Hack Ma Wii. And this is the Wii in unhacked format. What this hack is going to do is allow you to play WiiWare games such as uh, Good Old Mega Man 9 or uh, My Pokemon Ranch for free. Not that you should be playing Mega Man 9 for free. <laughs> I'm not saying you should. Please do support Capcom. <laughs> Please. So we can get more great Mega Man games like that. Of course I bought it. I'm a Mega Man fanatic. Okay. Basically, what we're gonna do... You download, uh, and I will provide links in the sidebar if my remote would start working. Go to data management. Okay. Now, these are Twilight Princess hacks. As you can see. Now I have a USA Wii, so what I'm going to do is select this one. Select yes. Oh, right. All right, then we're going to pause that. Okay. Now, I'm back. Now, in order to do this hack without a mod chip, you need a copy of Twilight Princess. I don't actually own this. Yeah, you can flame me later for it. This is my sister's. But, you know, you need a copy. The next thing you do is you take a look at the actual disc, the underside. Now, where is it? It is... Let's see here. Over here. Now, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. You see that number? RVL Art Z D E dash zero A that's a zero. Some of them have a zero, some of them have a two. You want to make sure you keep track of what that number at the very end is before the Japan mark. Okay? This is a zero, so we're gonna be running Twilight Hack Zero when we get to it. Okay. We've told the Wii that yes, we have a copy of Twilight Princess. So now we go go to your SD card. There are files that you have downloaded. And tell it to copy. Princess. There it is. There, all set. Now Go back. Start up your copy of Twilight Princess again.
at the start. Now, remember that, uh, that little number on the back of the disc that we wanted to make sure we knew of? Well, this is why. We have to run the prop version. We have zero, so we're going to be loading zero. Loaded up the game. So now, what the game tells, what the guide tells us to do, is to make Link walk backwards until you see a disclaimer. I'm gonna walk backwards. There we go. And there you go. Now to install, if you agree to the bug, hit the reset button. Or the GameCube start button. Otherwise, hit power button or GameCube 2 button to exit. We want to install this, so just a second, just a second. Okay. Now, here's the Wii. Twilight Princess has been used to hack. We now have Homebrew Channel. And this is how you do stuff. That just loads up a simple little black bio screen. Go to WAD Manager, tell it to load. It loads it. Pretty simple. Here's the games. I have Strong Baddy of the First, Defend Your Castle, and Lost Ones. They're all on the SD card. I preloaded them before I even started the hack. Um, but you just go and you know, using your Wiimote, just hit up or down. I've already downloaded and installed everything, so we're just going to go straight back to the Wii menu. Unfortunately, my sister's fiance came in here and he wanted to watch me do it, so... I didn't record, obviously, while he was in here, but... So here's Defender Castle, Homestar Ruiner, and most importantly, Lost Ones. Not a penny spent. And that's how you do it, kids. Alright, so once I get some games installed, some more games, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys how to do it. You can also do such, such as, oh, yes, good old Mega Man 9. <laughs> oh, the happiness, the joy, the joy. Okay. Goodbye.